Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland Reviewer, and I'm here to review Black Holes, The Edge of All We Know. And this is a new documentary from director Peter Gallison and focuses on the exploits of a group of scientists who are trying to photograph a black hole, which up until that point had never been done. None of them have ever been close enough. We've never been able to do that through simulations trying to gather what they look like. And as a fan of science fiction, there's been quite a few different kinds of black holes that have been popped up in different kinds of films, and books, and stuff like that, and even Muse albums. <laughs> and you have this idea of what a black hole is, and probably the one that most resonates with me is Interstellar and this strange like from far away it looks like a sphere but then as you get closer to it just kind of like warping around the sides and it's twisting space and it's not just like a tunnel like a wormhole through space it's a strange kind of object and this film goes through all the different kinds of things that you have all of these different scientists trying to realize what a black hole looks like. What it does, what color is it? Is it really black? Does it just exist in a void? And they talk about the ideas of like, does it radiate energy or stuff like this? And you have all these different scientists and you have Stephen Hawking who's in the film for parts of it. And the biggest issue that I do have with black holes is that this could probably easily lose people in terms of it's up here in terms of talking about the science and these are a bunch of nerds that are just like geeking out about science that are up here and struggle I think to bring things back down to a level where somebody who doesn't have this background is going to be able to understand. So there might be moments where the audience might get left behind. And that's a struggle. But there's a smoothness, there's a subtlety, and a just soft craft to this documentary. Nothing flashy, but it's well put together, it looks good, and it follows this energy. Because that's the thing. You might get lost in the science, but the passion is poignant, and relatable. You might not know or comprehend what they're talking about, but you can comprehend the feeling of somebody getting so close to something that they dream of and having that passion and connecting and that's what draws you in. This film could have fallen back on just being very scientific and unengaging, but the film does the smart thing. You have director Gallison focusing on the people and their exploits and their dreams and that's what really sells you on this film these scientists are like geeking out giant smiles like can't hold back that glee and then it also has other emotion because Stephen Hawking passed away this film deals with that and the emotion that it had that brought out of all these people in this film and that's so poignant and real and satisfying in how it's portrayed in this film, it takes you on some emotional journeys that you would not expect from a documentary about black holes. But all the way up to like, this is this underdog triumphant story. And it has that energy of an underdog narrative, that kind of film. Like, it's gonna sound silly, but it has that dodgeball vibe. By the end, you're like, yes, they did it. And it's really cool. Might be the nerd in me. I got a lot of that math that they were throwing up there. But I loved the journey and being there passionately along with these scientists trying to get to that point where they can get that picture and prove that they could do it. And that's what matters about this documentary. The passion. And Gallison's able to convey that in this film. And which is why Black Holes, The Edge of... All we know is worth the journey. But those are my thoughts on this early review. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.